What's going on everyone? Juicebags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2 and my OG Cannonball playthrough of the four Chaos 5 Trials. Let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, we're going to leave the Apprentice out this time. We're just going to be using the Squire, Huntress, and Monk. And the Squire is going to bring along the walls and balls as usual with my Ascension spread like so. Then the PDT Huntress. With Ascension, like so. Now, I did change the Monk around a little bit to get a little bit more range on my Sky Guard, so I went full Sky Guard Gambit. And then Defense Crit Chance, Hero Crit Chance, and the change into Ability Mana. And then Defense Speed and Sky Guard Damage in the center. And of course, I'm a full pulse smash all the way on the offense side. Let's go ahead and build it out. Now, this map, oh my god, it's complete cannonball hell. There's no doubt about it. It, uh, no doubt the Squire would make Lil Troy proud this time around because <laughs> this map gets it done and it's just awesome. Decided to leave off the Frosties, the cannons are providing. Uh, the majority of the stun that we need. Actually, I may not even need this Sky Guards either. I'm going to try it without Sky Guards this time, which I have yet to do. <clears throat> Hopefully, this doesn't go too sketchy. And I'm going to do my PDTs like I normally do. We always get a build up right there in that hallway. So that PDT will help release the, release the tension there. And then we're going to go... Just straight up, one for each lane, and I'm trying to get them as far out on those posts as I can. Because you can't be cannonball hell without just mad amounts of PDT action. Let's see, I think we'll go right there. And then let's get it started. We'll just, uh, what do we got left? We've got 580 mana left. So I'm going to have a little change here. I'm not sure what I'll do with that, if anything. Now, the cannonballs, of course, scale very nicely with uh, range. In addition to that, it's got a really wide cone, so you can use them to just cover multiple lanes here. How we coming along? Looking good. Very nice. And I got 250 left. That's actually that's a lot of cannonballs. Let's see. I think I may just go right in front of this other set of defenses here. Something like that. And we actually still have change. Dang. Well, I got room for three more cannonballs. I might as well just uh, make it happen here. And do something like that. Just to completely insanely and ridiculously overkill it. Now I do have a couple of sketchy pieces of gear on uh, my Squire and my Huntress right now. So I went on and pulled those back out of the deck just so I could do, uh, you know, make sure I'm not missing out on any opportunities with drops. And then we'll just get it going here. It's kind of nice having the uh, mixture of the heavy cannonballs with the regular cannonballs because it provides that pretty awesome flyer defense as well as you know the incredible stun from the heavies just rolling down the lanes and they're having no problem making the transition transition down off the top of the inn so that's a good thing and round one of assassins there we're gonna have one more here Oh, there he comes now. Not wasting any time. Awfully good of you there, Mr. Assassin. And there we go. Now we can just wreck down the rest of the lane at our leisure with just an absurd amount of fireworks. And pull smashes. And everything else in the mix. Okay. 
Got nothing else coming there. Gotta wait for these bads to get up to the defenses and start getting me some kills for my for my firework charges. <laughs> I I'm still I gotta switch this shard out. Ooh, there is one more assassin. That's all right, cause my he waited so long, my pet uh, cooldown would actually come back up. Anyway, I'm gonna have to change that shard out just because it's not even remotely easy on the eyes. There's that build up in the middle I was referring to. Those PDTs will help out with that. And then just uh, the flyer action here. Just about there. There we go. Alright, and I'm going right for this PDT over here. Because that is always, like I said, it always bunches up right there. It seems like every single run. Walls didn't take, uh, took very little. The one took a shot, it looked like. But, just gonna kinda throw upgrades around. I don't, uh, this build is so ridiculous with all the cannons that I, I really don't think we're going to have to upgrade the walls. We'll have to look at them as uh, the waves progress. I'm not used to not using a sky guard for some sort of flyer defense there. But it definitely looks effective. Just insanity with all the cannons. That is one well guarded in. There's no doubt about that. You're going to feel the pain if you walk up there and try to check in. Assassins taking their time again this wave. Lots of mobs on this map though, that's for sure. there's any more assassins from which the minimap's shown now, but all the mobs aren't out yet. So it is pretty hard to say at this point. I'm sure we're probably going to get another round. With 200 mobs left, you would think that that's not it. I'm trying to stay away from the end mainly. <laughs> there we go. He started. He started to get on me, and then he had a second thoughts. He's trying to work up his nerve right now. Here it comes. There we go. Need one more. Yep, I got that. I got that wonky silence thing. Let me uh, get punched in the face by Tuscar. That will. That'll remedy my uh, silence problem. Not have another hero in the deck to switch to uh, kind of either makes it so you got a suicide or wait for an, another assassin to get on you. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and take this one all the way up to tier 5 and then go over to the other end and get all those uh, tier 2 upgrades I want everything over here alright we got those some PDT action one more and 300 left I might as well just go ahead and slap an up on all the walls just because I can get some over the 3 mil mark anyway And away we go. Wave 3, we should have quite a few more assassins this wave. I 
we're wrecking it up. Come on now, assassins, don't be shy. Making pretty good progress here. Here come the assassins. There we go. Wait till I get the whole pack up before I pop my pet. And I got the silence thing again. I don't know what is causing that. This assassin should take it off, actually. Really strange how that works. I was hoping this guy would fall off of me here. There we go. I didn't want to get down there and cause an ogre stomp. Now the flyers are getting close. Looks like those cannons just plowed them down that once they got in there. Once they got into range for the wreckage. Another assassin coming. Got my pet this time though. 211 bads left. Still, uh, like I said, just lots and lots of baddies on this map. No doubt about that. It's alright. Lots of opportunities for fat loot. Speak of the devil. There's a legendary right there. I have to check that one out here. See what we get. Looks like a helmet, I believe. Not spectacular. I think the one I have is actually better. And here comes old Griblock. There we go. One more bad. Looks like it got one stuck. You gonna come? There we go. We'll get him. Now I don't like rolling around without the apprentice in my deck, because the apprentice has been my way of getting rid of those uh, stuck bosses, siege rollers and whatnot that uh, are stuck in spawns. Let's see, let's just throw them around here. We got four more. Let's just go right across the middle here. Good enough. Now, wave four, we still got the uh, the geode issue in wave four and five. So, got to find the geode. There he is right there. And gonna be a long walk on this one. Not too bad, though. Not as bad on sewers. On that sewers one on the lower, lower side, it comes a long way. There we go, geode down. That wasn't too tough. And then we'll get back to our uh, just normal, normal spot here. These flyers do seem to get be getting closer than I thought they would. There's a big pack of them coming over there. We'll see if they get mowed down or not. Man, 380 baddies left. Wow. Just a ton on this map. I didn't look at the wave counter at the beginning of the wave, but man, there was a bunch. Let them get into range. If you go out there and camp them uh, in the lane, you know, obviously you, you can do it, and you can hold the lane, but it's a lot quicker if you just let them come to the, come to all the defenses. Come on. Get off me. Still 300, or 260, 260 bads left. Hmm. I mean, look at all the heavy cannonballs. The proc rate on that, that tower is just huge. Did 
Just about there, we got the last big, big push. And I didn't look at the bosses. I want to see what uh, bosses are coming here. See, we got Tuscar here. Tuscar's a beast these days. And then Griblock taking the long walk. He's not going to make it. And we've five incoming now. Let's take a look where our geode lane is. Right here on the close one this time. Now I mentioned it last, uh, I think I mentioned it anyway, the last map. If you don't be attentive to those geodes, they will completely ruin your run. And they're going to ruin it with... In wave five, <laughs> of course. All right. So let's get over here and get ready to take care of this geode. He's got a little bit of a walk too, but it's not as bad. He should be out before an assassin gets uh, too far on me. There we go. And then just come kick it back over here. Four hundred more. Let's see, just appreciate the cannonball hell here. Until uh, some assassins come. There, there they are already. Not wasting any time. Saving my pet, because I thought uh, more were going to come pretty quickly. But they're not there yet. we got a Siege Roller. Now, of course, the Siege Roller uh, goes down like nothing if you use that Smashing Fists shard. That's the old uh, Harbinger's Punch uh, weapon passive. But, wanted to keep it cheese-free. Lactose-free! I don't want to go get on that siege roller yet, just because it's got mobs all around him, and I don't know if there's going to be more assassins coming. Yep, there they are right there. You know, with 200 plus mobs left, I still don't know if it's safe to run out there. No, nope. indeed it wasn't. There's a big old pack coming right there, too. Big pack of baddies. Lots of assassins. Let that last one get on me. Oh, man, it gave me the silence. That's not good. I'm just going to suicide here. To get rid of that silence, because I, I want to get on that siege roller eventually. Looks like he's stuck. On the mini-map, anyway. Is he stuck? Nah, he's still coming. He's just getting stunned like crazy. Just about there. Here we go. Siege down. Tusk guard down. Looks like everybody's down. Got some flyers and a couple of trash mobs, and that is about it. Got some uh, books sitting down here that need a solid whooping. A little bugged out Zerker there. And it's good game. Boy, that cannonball up top took a little took a little smash to the face there, it looks like. There we go. Too many runs in a row without a legendary chest. Happy to see that one. See if we got anything good in it. Yeah, we got an orb and a medallion. Only 15 ups on that orb. And the medallion's only got 45. So it's, I mean, it's still not terrible, but it doesn't have 
a very good mix of stats. If it had defense power, defense health, and defense speed, I would upgrade that and slap it on my flamethrowers and see how it worked. But it doesn't really have the correct mix. Let's see what kind of shards we got. Hemolytic poison. I think I've got that one, but I'm not positive. An explosive guard. I know I've already got it. I'm actually using it right now. But there it is. Little Horn Valley with the original four. No cheese. On Chaos 5 Trials. So thank you for watching. Click that like button and please subscribe to the channel. We'll be back soon with some more DD2. I am loving the trials. Definitely an interesting new twist. Now obviously there's some things that uh, are going to need to get patched up. But I think that's going to kind of go without saying with any update to any early access game. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you.